Hey guys and welcome back to February 2022's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again we've got 5 amazing free assets, these are going to be the Mountains and Meadows Outdoor Environment Pack, the Simple Procedural Asset Creator, the Easy Vehicle Suspension, the Victorian House Only Exterior and the RGB Effects Starter Pack. So without further ado, let's get right into it with me showcasing these different things, starting with the Mountains and Meadows Outdoor Environment Pack. Now this is a mountain meadow environment package which contains one terrain and 135 vegetation assets. So it's aimed at realistic looking projects and visualizations and due to its very low poly count it can be used for projects which may require a more optimized asset as well. It includes 145 static meshes, 37 textures, 2 materials which is a plant master and a terrain master, 16 material instances, and a demo scene to display all 145 variations and combinations of the different vegetations. There's no collisions however and the vertex count is 20 to 50 triangles per clump. So I think this one looks really good, again you can just use this wherever so I can imagine these looking quite good in a forest for example, maybe the kind of shrubbery on the floor and the surface of it and you can really you can use this wherever you want. The tray material looks really good as well. Next up we've got the simple procedural asset creator. Now this will create simple asset generators using a universal node based system. 20 example generators are included and it generates infinite variations with one click. So the included example asset generators are an arrow generator, axe, book, bow, bucket, column, fence, grass, gun, plant, scroll, shield, sword and well. So you can really see that this has given you a massive variation of different assets in which you can create and again as they said it gives you infinite variations with just one click. So what you can see on screen now is their tutorial showing how to use this and how it works and I think that should give you a really good example of what this is. So it features the possibility to create various types of simple asset generators. 20 example asset generators are included which again we went over earlier. Intuitive node based systems easy spline shaped based mesh generation nodes, a large set of exposed parameters for mesh generation rules, full blueprint projects clean and easy to extend upon, assets can be saved as a regular starting mesh and exported as FBX or OBJ if you maybe wanted to use this in another project or somewhere else you can export this as well so it doesn't just have to be for Unreal you can just use this to make assets. So again I think this one looks really great, the final product of them looks great and the whole system of how it works looks very easy to use and very intuitive. Now we've got the easy vehicle suspension and this is an easy to set up component to simulate vehicle suspensions and as you can see on screen this looks very good and works quite well. So this is a scene component which simulates vehicle suspensions and it has been designed to significantly reduce the time needed to set up a working arcade style vehicle suspension system. So it's quite important that the arcade style this isn't exactly realistic which you can kind of see in the video as well but it does work quite well for what you'd want. So there's also a fully working and commented sample car BP with the preset easy vehicle suspensions and there's dedicated small function libraries to better set up and manage the component. There are three blueprints, the input is keyboard and mouse, it's not been tested for network replicated but I imagine it should probably be quite easy to do however again they haven't tested it on there. So as you can see in the video it's very very easy to set up, all you do is just make an actor add your mesh and add the components for the suspension on there then add the wheel meshes to the component of the suspension. So you've got your car, your suspension, your wheel attached to the suspension. Now we have the Victorian house only exterior. Now this is a full modular pack about 650 high quality assets for your game. And again I think this one looks absolutely fantastic only the exterior once again however you could probably use another pack to do the interior of these especially ones which have been free previously because this does also include the stairs which you can use inside your game as well. So it's fully modular so everybody can have the same pack but it can look completely different which again I mention this every time but I really do love modular packs. It does include high quality props, interaction with objects and inspection with objects, vertex paintable, outline effect and the auto depth of field. There's 220 meshes, 19 blueprints, 131 materials and material instances and 287 textures. The texture sizes vary from 128 by 128 all the way up to 4k and there is also custom and automatically generated collision but there are no LODs. 
But again, I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. You can really see it does look like a Victorian house. And the example which I put on screen now is a speed build they've done of one example of them creating a Victorian house. However, again, this is modular, so you can really create absolutely anything you want with this pack and get it to look however you want. And last but not least, we have the RGB effects start pack. Now this is a selection of 50 particle effects covering the four basic hero classes, which are Archer, Mage, Warrior, and Priest. It also includes a selection of status effects and selection and targeting effects too. So there are nine particle effects for each hero, all of which are fully customizable with particle parameters for things like color, alpha, lifetime, size, and more. There's eight status effects, including stun, confusion, and the teleport. And there are five targeting effects, which are all fully customizable in size and shape. There's 42 materials, one function, six material instances, and there's 25 meshes with 40 textures. And in their words, this is the perfect starting point to any action RPG or MOBA style game. Now there's a very big list on the page of all the different things included. I'll give a list of some of them. So you've got arrows, you've got multi shots, you've got energy beam, fire shields, whirlwind, magic bolt, shield, stun, earth slam, heavy impact, and so much more, which you can obviously see if you download it and on screen in the video now. So again, there's 50 effects, 42 materials, one blueprint, and 25 meshes. One thing it does say on the page though is that the engine compatibility is 4.12 and this was released in 2016. However, I'm not sure if they have updated it since then, but just not put that on the pack as well because also on the supported engine versions, it does come up all the way to 4.27. So they might just have not updated it on that other section of the page. And I think that'll be it for this month's monthly free assets for February, 2022. This month also marks one year since I've started doing these videos and it's gone by so quickly, I can't believe it's been a year already, but I've done them every month since last February because you really seem to enjoy them each time. So let me know what you thought of this one in the comments down below as well. I think my favorite one for this month around was probably the Victorian house. Now that might be a bit biased because I'm obviously English, I've seen a lot of Victorian houses. I really love them and I do also love the modular style of it. All of it just looks great. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite was for this month. And again, I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful of me just going over the different asset packs, showcasing them, talking a bit about them, and giving my opinion. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.